Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah, and this is the giveaway draw. Giveaway? What giveaway? A couple of weeks ago in a vloggy number, oh goodness, what number was it? Hang on. Hang on. Let me go back to it. I'm on my laptop over here. Number 46. Um, towards the end of the video, there was a giveaway. I told you. This were all the ball bands that I used through uh, December 31st of 2021. Now mind you, I didn't start crocheting until the very end of January, like total beginner noob. And so, you know, I just put them in here. I, I gathered them all together, counted them up, put them in this little box and said, y'all guess. Okay. And I did say that the person who was closest without going over, uh, was the one who was going to win. Um, yeah, I also said the, uh, the prize is going to be either a $15, that's 15, 15 uh, gift card to like you know, PayPal or Amazon or, you know, whatever, uh, whatever your choice. Or if you are on the domestic side, you can choose to have yarn and we will talk about yarn between ourselves, um, to see what from my stash you would like to have. Okay. Um. But I figure all the sales going on, you could take that $15 and just go to town and get yourself some more yarn because we all want more yarn, right? <laughs> Speaking of yarn, I used quite a bit, I think. Um, but I also had quite a bit of comments. My, I, this is a book. It's a purple book and I wrote it in purple because, yeah, apparently today's about purple except for the dress is blue. But this is a uh, Plague Lipstick by Urban Decay, which I absolutely love. And it's purple kind of a deathly purple but you know your girl loves it okay I had a total of 55 guesses that is a three pages of guesses writing down one on each line and the third page had an extra you know according to there were 18 lines on each page and I appreciate every single comment it was fun to read through them I just I was reading through them writing down names and writing down you know the numbers on the sides there and um wow a lot of wonderful comments and all i did on this one because i didn't want to like taint um my you know the comments in case i had to use a spinning wheelie thingy for something i didn't want to comment myself and add stuff to it so i just hearted everyone's comment so thank you <laughs> thank you for all of your comments it was fun to read through everything and i appreciate y'all you know coming in and taking a guess taking a stab at it now there were some folks who had way too much confidence in how much I crocheted. Um, there was a comment of 336 um, yarn balls. No. While I would like to have done that many, no, work gets in the way. But the work gets in the way. That's not how the song goes, but you know what I mean. Um, yeah, but everything else was, you know, pretty acceptable guesses. I was really impressed. You know, there was another one that was over 300, I think. And I was like, whoa, that would be fun. But it didn't happen. No, it didn't happen. Okay, do you want to know who won? Do you want to know who guessed closest? Do you want to know how many ball bands were in this box? I know you want to know both those things. Okay, and I did say closest without going over. And matter of fact, that wouldn't have mattered because the people that went over were over by a little bit too much to have been that close. So the winner actually was pretty blasted close. In this box, this is a shoe box by the way from San Antonio Shoes. So comfy those shoes. And what I did was I bundled these up in groups of 20 using my little clips that I used from Dollar Tree. That was 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. This is the oddball, okay. 120, 140, and the last bundle had 18. So that was 158. That's how many ball bands I used last year. 158. Now who got closest? The closest person was Verna Bradshaw. She guessed 148. She was right there with the guess. Way to go, Verna. Now, what I need you to do, Ms. Verna, is get a hold of me okay my email address is in the description down below it's also on my about page so yeah I get a lot of spam but you know it is what it is um, but please send me an email 
Um, and I will actually give you a code to go back and, and um, comment, like, like uh, edit your comment because you know, YouTube has got some people that try to do some yucky things. So if I get you to go back and do that, only you can edit your own comment and we'll know that you are the right Verna Bradshaw and not somebody just a pretending to be Verna Bradshaw just to get my little prize, okay? You know how it is. Um, but I do thank you. This was a lot of fun, like waiting and watching the comments come in because oh, I wanted to see who would get it closest. So now I can finally get rid of this box of ball pants. <laughs> I'll keep the box though. It is handy. How can you get rid of a good box like this though? I mean, right? Maybe I'll keep more. I actually am already saving my ball bands for this next year. Don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I will do the yard calculation. That would have been fun. Yards or meters? That would have been even tougher because a lot of these ball bands were like value yarn, big ball bands. So. Yeah, there was a lot of crochet going on. A lot of miles, a lot of kilometers of crochet. I'm sure of it. Again, everybody, please congratulate Verna down in the comments. And thank you for coming by. Please check out Book Look, which also came out today. Um, tomorrow, it'll be time for tea. Tuesday, Snacks Around the World. Wednesday, a brand new series starting up having to do with me testing some peppers. What? That's right. And soon, soon, I will attempt to set up my first thing, growing garden type things. It's all new to me. You know, this could kind of fall into the hashtag old gal new crafts that Neva, Manic Mama Musings, is doing, which is kind of fun. And you should check her out for that. And I'll link her down below as well. Yes, Oscar. Oh, do you want to make an appearance? You know, it's always a good video when the real star comes and makes an appearance. Hey, sweet boy. Say hi to the camera. Don't just look at mama. Look up here. Yes, you're pretty. That light is bright, isn't it? Oh goodness, it's too bright for my sleepy boy. Too bright for the sleepy boy. He's purring. He's purring a lot. So anywho, thank you again for coming by. I will see you very, very soon, hopefully. See ya.